Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll check the temps from the day today. Mostly cooler across the area, mostly because there are some changes and they were kind of happening late in the day today. Still got some 80s, though, up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. It was more 70s, though, than anything. Just 60 in Capitola, 65 in Santa Cruz. Cool day, lots of low clouds, some fog around, 60 in Moss Landing, some 70s and some low 80s out towards San Juan. Batista, still some middle 80s and upper 80s, Gilroy and Morgan Hill. 81 in Hollister, so there was a little warmth, but you kind of had to look around to find it. 70s and 60s from Salinas to Gonzales, and then 80 plus for Soledad, uh, Greenfield, and uh, King City, so nice there. And low 60s to middle 60s with afternoon sunshine on the peninsula. Uh, we, we had the onshore flow most of the day, and you can see the low clouds were kind of stubborn along the coast today. Eventually, though, they cleared out, and that is in response to something that's happening in the atmosphere. 50s, though, still along the coast, still some 70s. So you can see there is a wide range from, let's say, Aptos over to San Jose with upper 50s to middle 70s. And that range was there today, too. A little warmer in San Jose today, mostly cooler everywhere else. Tomorrow, though, these will all be on the plus side. Relative humidity is what we're looking at here. Dry, warm air working in, descending from the Sierra, descending from the coastal hills and drying up. So very warm air, very close to us and over some of us, of course, Gilroy, Morgan Hill. You get into Watsonville and Santa Cruz, they're at 80 and 81 percent. Marine air is still there and again, some fog will be back tonight. So a lot of warmth, some heat really, interior parts of the state and that is headed to us in a small way. More so, though, up in Northern California, this is dry air. You can see all the dark areas there, and that line is descending southward. So we're getting into a drier and drier pattern here with a little offshore flow. It's not a classic offshore flow event for us. We're not going to see 90 in Moss Landing at any time soon. But if you go a little further north, you do see that the red flag warnings are up. It's dry, it's warm, and it's going to be breezy. And that includes the Diablo Range, too. So that gets a little closer to home here on the other side of the Santa Clara Valley. Nothing in the, for the Santa Cruz Mountains. It, yes, it will be warmer and it will be a little breezy and it's very dry, not to say that if we got a fire that it wouldn't spread quickly, but not really meeting the conditions for a red flag at this point. Forecast highs tomorrow. You can see 97 Redding, 92 Sacramento, 94 Fresno. So the warmth is there. And if you get a northeast wind, which we do expect to have in some fashion, we'll bring some of that warmth Again, close to the coast. We'll also still have the marine layer around in the morning time. So there's going to be a pretty big difference in temperatures between the coast and a few miles inland over the next couple of days with the heat trying to get down to the bay, but not quite making it most likely, at least not for tomorrow. We'll see what it looks like on Wednesday. Mid 40s to middle 50s. We'll put in the bay clouds and fog at the coast. Keep it mostly clear inland and 60s to low 70s again for the uh, f well, for the coast, actually, tomorrow. Uh, and then inland is going to be much warmer, 80s to low 90s. So you're seeing that difference. And it's not just because, again, our normal summer pattern. This is that offshore flow coming down out of the hills. 68, though, San Francisco. You'll notice the 80s popping back up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. We'll do 60s and 70s on the coast near Santa Cruz. And then 70s, 80s, and then some 90s coming in, Gilroy. 85 for Hollister. Salinas Valley will also have a pretty big range from 68 here in Salinas to 86 in King City. So it's not a heat wave and it's not overly hot, but it's definitely going to be warmer. Mid 60s, upper 60s on the peninsula, about 69 in Seaside. We're going with the sunshine certainly for the afternoons. Your KSBW eight day forecast. The coast, upper 60s to upper 70s. The warmest day at the coast looks like Wednesday. We could get close to 80 in Santa Cruz. We did that last time uh, last week when we had this happen. And then we're back in the 60s by uh, the weekend. So there is a cooling trend after this happens. Mid 80s to low to mid 90s for a couple of days through about Thursday. Thursday we'll see a little cooling, but the bigger cool down for the valleys and hills will be over the weekend. And it looks like it gets drastically cooler with highs mostly in the 60s to low 70s by Sunday. Okay. All right. Good enough. Weather quiz.